Don't walk away like a little girl. Right? You wanted to you wanted to fight with me when the camera wasn't on. Don't walk away. I'll tell the camera right now. This is my, my son. You don't argue with someone who suffers from mental illness, especially when it is that they're making, of course. Now listen what I'm saying. You don't argue with someone who suffers from mental illness. My son here, delusional. I'm telling him to go to his room. Watching, I'm trying not to argue. <laughs> I'm telling him. I'm telling him, stop lying to me with your delusions. Go to your room. You have mental illness. My son, publicly showing the world, he has mental illness. My son, showing the world, he's mentally ill. I'm not mentally ill. Look at here, but the shit I'm talking about is not is is fake, right? I'm lying. Why do you gotta lie? Hold on, I'm lying. You are lying about that. Right? See, mental illness. That's not mental illness if I have to tell you that you don't need to tell other people that. Listen, they fucking murdering people, and my son fucking lying through Steve. They never have it. I wonder who he paid off. Who making money off of his fucking lie? Nina? What, are they scamming some fucking money? He's helping his fucking... Look at that. He fucking lying to my face with his mental illness so other people can steal shit from his mother. And then he's going to pretend like he's fucking here to help. <laughs> You're scaring me. Damn. Well, that's why I don't fucking shit. Literally, I'm, just, I'm trying to do dishes. I said, let me do the dishes. Go to your room. Don't gaslight me. Right? And he says, you're triggered. Yes, I get triggered from being gaslit. It's very scary. It's very scary. Because he'll be saying this shit. He'll be saying this shit. And then, and then fucking Jerry, my neighbor, and the Coxes will be in here littered with fucking military people fucking beating on me. Beating on me. Taking my wife because I'm fucking abusive. And then I literally, people got to have all out fucking wars. People got to die to stop the perversion that my neighbors have fucking enact because my son won't go in his fucking room. Literally. And so go to your fucking room so people don't have to interject and then fucking harm your mom because you won't shut up. I mean, his mom gets fucking abused for this shit because he won't stop running his fucking mouth. He won't say, and it's fucking a lie. This is so fucking lie. So, so he doesn't have to own up to that shit. Having his mom fucking attacked because he can't fucking be a man and stop and grow up, act his age. It's delusions. It's a fucking lie. It's a lie. They fucking kidnap children from us. They kidnap fucking children. It's a lie. This is my fucking son right now. Helping people kidnap shit, ch children from his fucking parents. Is that fucking jealousy or what? What the fuck is that about? Got to be the only one? What the fuck is that about? Right? And I got to be gaslit. You know, it's crazy. I got to be gaslit till I get to believing them. And then I got to go to a counselor and they're like, stop listening to your goddamn family. I got to be gaslit. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. He turned his fucking 20s. <laughs> well, I, I'll, I'll tell you this, though. Right? They took me to the Palios so I would kill them all. Because that's what they were making me do to get my wife back, Jerry and the and the and the f fucking coxes. Literally, because my son run his fucking mouth, they break into my house with a fucking military unit, and then they make me go kill people to get my wife fucking back. And I'm having anxiety and PTSD, telling stop, bro, stop putting me in these fucking positions where people can manipulate the situation and exploit me using your mother. Stop putting me in these fucking positions. <laughs> I mean, literally, I'm in a position where they took me to go fucking kill a whole bunch of people because of an argument with my fucking son. Because of an argument with my son. I got fucking people telling me I got to sign paperwork and give Courtney my fucking book. They can show pictures of fucking guns to the back of my wife's fucking head because of an argument with my God and that fucking shit. How they escalate that shit? How did it get to that point? Argument with my son. Just asking, go to your room, bro. Give me some space. If you don't want, if you want to talk shit, don't be around me. Right? If you want to talk shit, you want to be rude, gaslight me, just go to your room. That's easy. Enjoy the amenities. Enjoy the hot water. Enjoy the amenities. Go to your room. And the, if, when you work for the government, you got to do all kinds of shit. <laughs> well, this is what I'm saying. There's an like, unwavering soul. No killing. Well, no shit. You think I'm having such a fit? You think I'm having such a fit? Yeah, no shit, no killing. But they want a lot of people fucking murdered, which is just witnesses. I mean, you think about this. Why can't the FBI sit down and talk to the Paloyas and be like, what did you do for Courtney Hunt, Cheeto Paloya? What did you do for Courtney Hunt and, 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 and other countries against the U.S. military? What the fuck do you do? Oh, 
We can't actually ask those questions. We gotta try and have you killed. <laughs> then more people start fucking asking real questions. Salvador Luna, what the fuck did you do? What did you do for my neighbor Jerry? In real life, what did you do, Salvador Luna? Who did you pretend to be fucking married to when they had a traumatic brain injury? Who the fuck were you raping for my neighbor Jerry? Why the fuck we gotta have you killed before people can ask you fucking questions? Why they gotta make me fucking go back there and pretend like that shit never happened in the simulation? Gaslighting. Man. These are my meltdowns. Like, just give me space. He won't stop. Literally, he won't stop. And it's my problem. Like, it's my fault. I have the problem. You know, fucking Jerry and, and the Coxes you can put on there. No, Martin fucking violent. He fucking a dick. And they're like, we didn't hear him asking, please, begging, please go to your room. <laughs> he didn't even fucking explain to him, hey, I got PTSD. <laughs> Give me some space. We didn't hear that sh shit. He fucking violent. We got to take his wife and sex trafficker and then force Martin to fucking kill people if he want her back alive. <laughs> That's what we got to do. <laughs> if Martin got PTSD. That's fucked up to do to somebody. Making me a living slave is fucked up. <laughs> You think about those employees at Walmart? Why did John, my sister's, or my wife's sister's Nina's attorney or acquaintance, need employees at Walmart fucking murdered? Anybody, anybody know the answer to that? Why he, why they need, why did John and all the, his men need fucking people at Winco murdered? Why they need people fucking murdered at, at YMC, or the fucking LA Fitness? That's an honest question. Why they need all these fucking people? What do they see? What did they see? What did they see Nina's acquaintances do? Courtney Hunt's acquaintance. Why they need him fucking murdered? What did they see? Why they need him fucking murdered? <laughs> why we need a why we need a fucking suicide bomber or a mass shooter somewhere in Pierce County, Washington? What did these places see? <laughs> what did they see? What did they see? What did they see? What did they see? What happened to me? What did Jerry do to me after a whole fucking ranger unit and some seals attacked me? A after they made sure, after they fucking, you know, in Gladiator, made sure they fucking gave me the, the final move, <laughs> right? A whole fucking herd of them so somebody could pretend to take me out independently. What did they do to me afterwards? <laughs> right? After the seals came to fucking kill me and the airborne rangers, what happened after that? What did they do to my fucking body? So after my fucking son bailed from fighting and let, set that shit up, what'd they do to his fucking mother? <laughs> and I don't know, why do I talk so much shit about the military? Why do I talk so much shit about the military? And my son, you and your fake ass military career. I say I have military career. I said I went and signed up and they tried to get me to join a SEAL unit, an airborne ranger unit, and the fucking thing to join. Go out and rape some kids with them. So nobody will report. If some of you get caught up in the heat of the fucking moment, shit goes sideways, they'll never turn you in, Martin. Because they can't. And you'll never turn them in because you can't. This is how we do. That's fucked up. No, I don't want to be with your fucking group. <laughs> Hell no, I don't want to be a fucking airborne ranger. Fuck that shit. And then they come try and do it again. New fucking unit of military people in my fucking house. <laughs> and an all out war got to fucking break out. Over and over again. New fucking military pedophile units. Not fucking crazy. Not the good ones. Not any good fucking units. Just rapists. <laughs> U.S. soldier that has sex with animals. And they don't understand why the fuck I don't want to hang out with the U.S. military. This is my son like, you don't have no career. Well, not really. Because I don't hang out with them. They fucking nasty. <laughs> they come give me traumatic brain injury and try to gaslight me into fucking being with them. All the time. All the time. All the fucking time. Seabec. Uh, the Battle of Seabec. There's a fucking bench. There's a bench at the Battle of Seabec. Nah, I don't need a gun. <laughs> you don't need a gun. <laughs> it's over there at, 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 at the... There's a newer house. Or a house being painted yellow. <laughs> they, gave, they gave me a 9mm in the back of their fucking car. It's a fucking military. With kids fucking documenting this shit, mind you. They gave me a gun and was like... Put your balls where your mouth is, fucking Martin. Pull the trigger. I was like, okay, in the fucking car. Then we had a all-out fight, and I remember waking up in another in another couple's house in that house that's yellow, 
with the couple that lived in there now. Like, I don't know. It felt like they were pawing at me, basically. I don't know if they were trying to wake me up or sell. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but yeah. <laughs> so when they gave me the gun and I cocked it, I said, I would like to know how you're going to explain my brains in the back of this fucking car. But after I'm gone. And then we got in a fight from each other. Literally. <laughs> like, Try and stop me, fuckers. <laughs> it's your gun. <laughs> it's your gun. It's your fucking assigned pistol. It's your gun. Is your pistol. Explain this shit. Then I watched them airborne rangers execute one of their own men. So nobody would talk about what they were doing to my wife. Uh, or got recorded doing to me and my wife. They literally, over by my, ch my, my cherry tree, literally executed a guy with their own fucking, it was a, a fucking autopsy. Killed with a, a U.S. fucking bullet. <laughs> Why? He was going to report they were being recorded. But they weren't allowed to. So they had to kill their own man. Saving me. Right? Saving me? Saving me from people trying to save me. They had to kill their own men. Over and over again. Like fucking a dozen times. Saving me from their own men. They got to kill their own people. It was like, you sign this paperwork and then we're going to kill the people that got you to sign it. Okay? Right? Okay? And then you say we saved you from them. Right, are you okay? Can you see straight yet? Is your name is Martin Cabello. I saved you. Your name is Martin Cabello. I just saved you. I saved you. He's like, are you fucking crazy? Are you fucking crazy? Dude's brain is fried. I ramble. I babble. I, it's, it's called info dumping. This is my son earlier. My wife asked me to give him a paper for my autism. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> so I, can listen, I can fucking listen to talk about this bullshit lies. <laughs> I like listening to them. Well, I mean, I don't like listening to them, but I just like, looks like, how long is it going to fucking go on for? Basically, like, how long is this fucking lies going to go for? I'll keep my paperwork hidden and he can lie as long as he wants, as much as he wants. And I, I can be the embarrassing joke. <laughs> I can be the druggie, the scam, whatever, the scam arts, the fakie, the stolen valor. I can do it. I don't give a shit. Right? I give a shit. I can be whatever. Real life. Real life. <laughs> don't really care. Straight up, bro. No, it's up, my, son said, my son betrayed me. I don't know about betrayal, but I do know there's a big old fucking scam going on for his aunt to steal some shit and cover up rape of his grandma. So there's a lot of people trying to cover up the rape of an older woman right now. And they're, they're stealing information from me to pay the rapist off, which is fucking crazy. I'm having shit stolen from me to pay off the, to pay the witnesses or the extortion to cover up rape of my fucking mother-in-law. This is so fucking crazy that is. My, my, some members of my family, some members of my family are extorting me to pay off people trying to kill me so we don't report their grandma, their fucking own family member being fucking sex trafficked. He kept like, literally, it's like, how are you going to pay these fucking hitmen? Like, we got to steal some shit from Martin. It's like, you're going to steal shit from Martin and use his own money to pay for the hitman coming to fucking get him? Yep. Welcome yeah. to America. This is crazy. This is crazy literally. stuff, man. This is crazy stuff, like, I don't even know. It is. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of this. It's so interesting. When they had me on my knees, it's a fucking um, John's man again, Nina's associate, uh, on my knees. Me and my buck-ass fucking naked, they had injected me with something, and I was completely incoherent. And they literally was like, they're talking like, see, he ain't that fucking tough. And I'm like, you just fucking gladiated me. You fucking drug me. They literally, they fucking drug me. Dude. And then had a whole fucking, it's uh, this... My wife's attorney, John's, uh, 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 my wife's sister's attorney, John, and their associates. I just know they work for my wife's sister. But they literally, they fucking drug me and then fucking With beat what? and rape me. And I, so, um, some people from Lion Pride were out here, and this is interesting. Uh, I don't know if, the, if that Lion Pride people actually turned the videos in to the, the authority mm -hmm. or they sold it for some money. Mm -hmm. Right, because I'm looking around, being like, if they if they gave it to the police, there'd be people in jail, and the people aren't in jail, so I'm thinking they just sold that shit on the black market. 
And that's not that's just that's not including all the shit I had uh, my people fucking document. I'm like literally before I moved here on on the internet. I'm like, you guys want to see some cool shit? I'm like the whole, literally. I'm like the fucking military is right. Like they're having sex with animals. They're having sex with setting up other soldiers for blackmail. It's a huge blackmail scheme. And literally, uh, people from Microsoft, people from Facebook, Microsoft. people from Intel, IBM. Oh, oh yeah, everybody because they do programs for the internet. They write code and things for. They were like. Oh, you yeah. are, are they, first off, they were like, you sound crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, here's my background shit. Mm-hmm. I, 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 and Microsoft, I had my town put on fucking martial law one time when you guys came out to mm-hmm. visit for, for, for uh, um, job fair. This is my name is Martin Cabello. I was like, most people won't have access to this shit. But you guys don't have the names of the people that showed up to that fucking job fair because you hired some people. You guys want to come see some shit in my house? <laughs> and people were like, fuck yeah. Literally, people were like, fuck yeah. And I will tell you what, man. All kinds of places document the military is a terrorist organization. Fucking terrorists. This was when somebody's asking me about my son betraying me. I don't know about that shit, but I do know there's some terrorists working against me right now. And I know what side people pick. (laughs) But in real life shit. I'm sorry. Terrorists. Terrorists. Dude, I, I don't know. Like, that's crazy, dude. I don't know what goes on in your mind, but, like, you seem to know a lot. Like, it's crazy to me. Like, I've been watching well, I had SEER training as a you're, kid. You're, like, very educated. Well, here's the thing. Now, listen. I had SEER training as a kid, and I like to talk shit about shit. I info dump. How do you get me to stop info dumping in real life? How do you get Martin to stop info dumping? You give him so much information coming in. He doesn't have time to get anything out. I've spent years of my life like that. They're like, just bury him in shit. The, bury him in shit that he will, like, he'll never have anything to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Show us how you make a Eucharist, fucker. I was like, okay. And they're like, bury me in shit for however long it takes me. I'm like, okay, this is how it works. Show me how to use a monstrance. Because nobody else can. Like, there's a guy at a church all over him in every fucking corner, on every block of the country. Ain't not one man been able to show us how it works. Do it for us. And they just shut me up. It takes so much information coming in. To know how to do that, I don't say shit for a long time. Like, I just shut up. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mine, I recommend... I'm making sure he hears me. You should do a podcast. You should really... You're being too loud. Okay. Look at me. I heard it. I should make sure my son hears me. Oh. But you should really, like, do a podcast, man. You got, like, a lot of traction. Like, I feel like. Like, you should get well, so I, 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 I think. Uh, 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 you talk about a podcast. I had, um, I had some people, literally, an, an actual podcast company. I, I videotaped the, the cameraman in my house. I did some, some duets of videos with him. They actually... With an, with an airborne ranger unit and some military, and my neighbors actually fucking tortured me, and then they waterboarded me because I refused to work for their fucking podcast shit. What the? But they needed the information they were going to use for their own. So they were using, they wanted, they were going to set up a school and charge people money for my information. But I, I couldn't remember that because it's mine. So they, they fucking waterboarded the shit out of me <laughs> and so they could steal a bunch of shit. Dude, that. Like, have you talked to a police? But there's already a, there's already a huge, huh? Have you talked to the police about this or something? It's just so fucking crazy. You're asking me to talk to the police about this. I just, the fucking police are like, <sighs> they're sweating it. I've been trying to be interviewed by King Five because I'm like, you guys want to see some shit? They tell me I'm lying. King Five be like, oh fuck. <laughs> That's like, right. you guys want to see some shit? Come on for watch. We can have the SWAT team in my house. The fucking FBI is gonna come. They're gonna fucking kill some people, saving the terrorists, and then set up a business deal. So I have to work for the terrorists later on. And there's real life shit that happens. Wow. <laughs> real that's, life shit. That's crazy, man. They need to do a documentary. Like, you're, you're like... I mean, so fucking... It's for Helly Hansen. We had that fucking... Uh, the Battle of fucking Seymour. Or Seebeck. For Helly Hansen. Wait. I mean, they're so fucking are dropping those, bodies. Those, those you bodies? understand. The, are those nah, that's some fucking shit clothing company. Some shit clothing company. People oh. stole money from me and set up some shit on the side. I've been trying to escape. Literally, though. There's a fucking gun battles everywhere. Knife fight. Gun battles, knife fights. You guys remember the battle of fucking uh, Spooners? Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> they oh. gave me a fucking knife at Spooners and literally were like, they're, they're going to, they just were trying to drop me in a fucking field. And I tried to explain like, 
How do you survive? I had training. I had education when I was younger. They tried to ghost me in spinners in front of kids, mind you, at an actual execution. Actual public execution at Spooner's Farm. Publicly execute me. Literally. A public execution. Then they took me to uh, uh, Gig Harbor, Washington, where John, my wife's uh, uh, sister's attorney, gave the order for some men to dispose of my body. And a huge battle broke out because my phone always stays on. Right? My Bluetooth. And a huge fucking shit broke out. And then that motherfucker, when we go back, he lied to my face. Like, I'm here to help you. I'm like, you fucking gave the order to fucking dispose of me. Like, literally. In the room, his, the two people that were there aren't fucking breathing anymore, mind you. And he ain't saying shit. He's like, why these people die? I don't know. Literally, you fucking set them up to be killed. John set up his accomplices. Now, you think about that. What else did they do for fucking Nina out in the community? Courtney Hunt and John. Why did they have to be killed? Why did they have to drug me, sedate me? and then activate my PTSD or my training that I don't fucking have so that I could survive that situation. Why did John need to set that up and have his own men murdered while making sure nobody knew that was happening? Maybe because John, maybe because John, John, if I, I'm not 100% sure, it could be my, my, my traumatic brain injury, maybe because John helped a, a woman cover up sex trafficking and then get a job at a fucking children's hospital. To help cover that shit up even more. Putting a whole children's hospital at risk for predation. People at the end of their fucking life. Right before you die of cancer, we got some people that can take advantage of you. Because we placed people here who will never tell. That's fucking crazy. That's insane. They set that shit up ahead of time. They set that shit up ahead of time. Any crimes. Any crimes. They can't say nothing. Right? These fucking people, they can't, they can't do nothing. They can't say nothing. They can corroborate a little bit of things, but the rest of it... <laughs> I just like my treadmill broke in this, in this argument last time. This goes deep. Corrupt military, right? Lewis, you better begin to hold an MS-13. It goes real deep. <laughs> we need some fucking Sonola cartel up here. I need the Putins. <laughs> I need the leader of North Korea in real life. In real life, I have an airborne ranger in the United States military terrorizing me and my family and gaslighting me with using my family to steal shit from me. I need Russia's help. If I can't, if I can't rely on the FBI and I can't rely on the United States military to just do their, not even go above and beyond, just do the fucking minimum and honor the oath they gave when they enlist, just the fucking minimum, I need to get a hold of Russia. Literally. And what, Lewis, you know how famous you would be if you actually got some diplomacy from Russia, some diplomatic emissaries to come out and talk to the United States government on the behalf of some American citizens who are being tortured by the military to have shit stolen from them, being forced to kill people to save their wives or prevent their wives from being murdered? I need Putin to get in on this shit. I'm having my wife fucking kidnapped from me by the United States military so they can try and force me to kill American citizens, cover up their dirty work, cover up their crimes. And I'm being gaslit into believing it's not real by my son. I need an international fucking community. I need people outside of my, outside of Pierce County. I need people outside of Washington. I need people outside of the United States. <laughs> I'm in the secret service. You know, <laughs> I did a whole tour on the secret service. I had a whole tour on them guys. They come out, literally, if you're going to have a president come somewhere, the Secret Service don't come out today. They come out a year in advance. They got a picnic. There's a whole thing involved in all that shit. Why well, is it isn't, here's the thing. You somebody say, is Russia corrupt? Here's a very interesting question. I don't know. The news tells me Vladimir Putin is a very evil man. He tortures a lot of people, steals a lot of shit from his citizens, is very brutal. They don't have freedom of speech, religious choice, none of that shit. Now, I'm going to tell you, in Pierce County, Washington, as a POW, the United States military, every fucking thing they tell me Vladimir Putin's doing, they're fucking doing to me. Every fucking thing they tell me North Korea does to their citizens and is the reason we should fucking punish them. The United States military does to its own fucking citizens. So why aren't they punishing themselves? You know, fucking crazy. This is on the news. Ooh, suicide bombers, mass shooters, terrorism. Like, yeah, the fucking airborne rangers. I see with my own eyes. Not just me, my fucking neighbors. 
whole high schools of kids. I got I did a, I got invited to a play at um is it Rogers? Not the new one, not Emerald Ridge. Rogers. And the police came arrest me at, at the play, so I could go to Ocean Shores. Literally, I went from the play to Ocean Shores with the fucking kids at fucking drama watching all this shit for them to contact me, and I didn't know who the fuck they were. This was on Friday and Saturday. They're like, "Hey, Martin." The five minutes of, the, of, of what you did see, how'd it go? I'm like, who the fuck are you? And the kids are like, what the fuck did they do to you? The kids are like, what the fuck did they do to you? Like, you were at a play at my school. Like, are, we invited you, like, the school. Like, we invited you to come watch some shit. But like, I don't fucking know what you're talking about. Later on, you know, because I upload videos everywhere, I get a thing from a company like, would you like to see what happened this day back in this year? I'm like, damn, I got a video from fucking Rogers. I was there. Them kids weren't fucking lying. My family was lying. What? No. I am calming down. This is how I calm down. Okay. This is what my wife says. No more. This is nothing. Before I spoke about it, I sent out like a thousand emails every 10 minutes, a thousand text messages, and contacted every foreign embassy I could. Right, what I'm doing now is just being watched by everybody I contacted throughout the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s. Literally. <laughs> They're like, calm down. I'm like, this is nothing. You should have seen, I did all caps. And because I didn't understand it was screaming, I would send letters out and email. They'd be like, oh, shit. This is nothing. I'm like, you know how long it took them to get me to just speak? Or scream, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, it's scary for me. I got the, the United States military. I witnessed them try and set up premeditated homicide. I, I either they go to jail or eventually they got to kill me, right? How do they stay out of jail for that shit? I got to be taken out. You see how that fucking works? Like people don't pay attention. Like why did Martin get seer training? Like, <laughs> see, like the military who took him there to get those people killed. He witnessed. If he remembers, they got to take his ass out. They got to take him out. This is my, my PTSD because when I originally reported the, 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 the sex abuse against Ron, my wife's aunt, they had an, a, a completely different military unit from California come down here and torture me and my fucking wife. Real life shit. That's fucking scary to you know. Like I'm talking about some something that I know that when I did in the past, they had a whole fucking military unit come out. <laughs> You got to be like, will you fight for me? Because eventually they're going to have to run out of money doing this shit. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, this is the thing about how it costs me to fix myself. I need some liver, some eggs, <laughs> and nature. This hue in the shape of a man, literally pennies. How much it costs for them to send a fucking hitman or clean up? I mean, when they send a hitman out and a hostage negotiating team out, to help secure signatures for extortion? How much money does it cost to cover up that your hostage negotiation team is an actual terrorist organization stealing shit from American citizens for their own profit when they retire? So it's a host HRT from the FBI. Today in 2022, the HRT from the FBI is out there raiding American citizens' house, pilfering fucking information. So when they retire in 2030, it will be theirs. That's fucking illegal as shit. They just stacking shit from American citizens so they'd be super wealthy and successful when they retire from the FBI. But how are they super wealthy and successful when they retire from the FBI? When they were on the fucking FBI SWAT teams, they were stealing shit left and right from American citizens. I can show you. I can show you. The fucking FBI. The fucking FBI, man. Shit's crazy. No, I'm not talking about this dude. Fucking A, man. I have some pretty gnarly attempts on my life. Pretty gnarly. <laughs> Literally. 
my wife's just telling me, calm down. So I get exercising, right? And, you know, my drugs, my hardcore narcotics, my CBD. I'm like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. This is a flashback. That's what I told my counselor on the other day. They're like, you're doing really good. A flashback. It's only a flashback. I was like, man, this is a fucking battle of, of, of what the fucking A, man? Spooners and Sumner with the fucking knife fight. I said, fight a fucking military unit. With it. One of them hold a knife to my wife's throat. They chased me around in a cornfield. I got fucking PTSD. So my wife's sister could steal some shit for college. The Spooners thing. So they could cover up sex trafficking of my fucking mother-in-law. Who, mind you, they asked me how I met my wife and my mother-in-law. Fucking knife fights. I was like the 30th person that was hired to get my mother-in-law out of sex trafficking from her own fucking family. Literally. Like the 30th fucking person. The only one to survive. Because I do that dumb shit. Go ahead, Ron. Knock me out. And I'll just lay there and see what the fuck you do. You dress me up. I'm still knocked out. I'm still knocked out. I was nonverbal as a child. You knocking me out or thinking you knocked me out just allows me to go to my quiet place when I'm having an autistic meltdown. And you fucking touching me is causing an autistic meltdown. I'm going to my fucking quiet place where I'm a mute. I'm fucking catatonic. I don't even fucking move. You have to pose me like a fucking toy. And then they start literally, the first time, they start sending fucking hitmen, groups, whole fucking military units. And I pretend the whole time I don't remember shit and I exercise till I get better. And then I ask them, you got to leave my house. And they go, why? Because I, I remember from the day one you moved in and I've been exercising. I feel a lot better right now. So what does that fucking mean? I just feel better right now. You should probably leave my fucking house. Your torture is worn off. Well, I've become accustomed to the rape. These blows to my head, three months of it, it's no longer making me stay completely unconscious. My body is used to it. You kicking me, I'm kind of used to it. It's like I was born for that. Literally, like I was born for it. <laughs> I literally. So how do you survive? I'd let them torture me until they get fucking exhausted. <laughs> Here's looking like... Literally, you could send an Olympic athlete in peak human performance, top of the world. I'll let that fucker torture me till his metabolism runs out. I'll go to my quiet place. I'm catatonic. I'm nonverbal. <laughs> it take you six months, a week, a day. It matter. They drug me around like that. I wasn't able, I wasn't capable of standing on my own. They did that weekend of Bernie's to me. They weakened and Bernie's me. Carried my carried my limp body around places. But since I couldn't fucking move my arms and my legs, I just pretended I couldn't speak either. They had me in a wheelchair in a military base, and they were getting ready to do their fucking perversion shit. They had me in a wheelchair, and I'd been practicing standing up. Just like in my steer training, I'd been practicing for fucking weeks. <laughs> and literally, they had a bunch of guys in there, and I fucking shanked them all. I fucking stabbed them all. Fucking perverts. And and the chain of command came in and was like, what the fuck's going on in here? And they're like, there's this fucking, there's that fucking paralyzed dude in the chair and his wife. Literally. They're like, well, we know she didn't do it, and we know he didn't do it. He, he fucking paralyzed. Literally. And they took me to another fucking place. And I did it again, literally, in from a fucking wheelchair. And then they took me to another fucking place, and I did it again. <laughs> For reals. For reals. They just literally, they just beat on me, and then I stopped moving, and they plopped me in the wheelchair. But they don't know if it works or not. This is the crazy part. When you're trying to beat someone unconscious, when you're, when you're trying to beat someone unconscious, they can choose to just be unconscious, if that makes sense. They don't actually have to go unconscious. They can just pretend to be unconscious. So they would do that. <laughs> so my, these military men attacking me from my wife's sister. They take me to these bases with my wife. 
I can't move. I can't lift my legs. And I will practice and practice and practice like this. And you see me popping wheelies in that fucking wheelchair? When I got to the point where I could pop a wheelie in the barracks, I went on a knife spree. And then they have to say, literally, then they got to ship everyone overseas and say it was a terrorist attack or some kind of mission gone wrong or somebody crashed their fucking Humvee. It's very interesting to watch. The military be lying about that shit going out their ass. Oh, it was a fucking terrorist. No, it wasn't. You guys fucking sacrificed your own men for your perversion. Literally. You know how many fucking people in the military I've been fighting? <laughs> My son. This shit ain't real. I've been fighting the fucking military since I was a kid because they're nasty. They can't stop fucking kids. They can't stop fucking animals. And they want me to work for them. Literally. They want me to work for them. It's fucking gross. <laughs> they want me to work for them. Yeah, this is like, no, Jesus. No wonder you got PTSD. For reals. <laughs> I mean, literally. This is at one point in time. At one point in time, because I had autism, and there was kids watching, they was raping me, and I just pretended I was fucking gay, and I was going to marry my neighbor, Jerry. I'm like, where's my husband, Jerry? They didn't understand it. I didn't know how to deal with the kids that fucking just watched me get brutally raped. So I just pretend it was a scene from a movie. For reals. There's some fucking kids watching this shit unfold. And then and then my family have to step in and be like, oh, we don't know what's fucking wrong with him. This fucking foul here. You think COVID was bad? <laughs> Wait till my next blackout, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's how I want to talk. That's how I want to be. I have to be a real boy. <laughs> Apparently, real boys live on planets with people. Like there's life. <laughs> You know, crazy the shit over my son though. It's a fucking uh, the, the battle of the battle of, of Mount Rainier. What? I got tailed to Mount Rainier. They took me to force me to work with Courtney Hunt a fucking again. Meet her kids and her family and shit. Pretend, pretend, pretend that she was some shit. <laughs> and uh, look, a real life fucking fight broke out. Uh, people got murdered. I left my wife in a fucking bathroom with like a nine year old fucking kid. You know that kid had to watch me drop like six people and then watch other people get fucking murdered? What's that kid going to tell everybody when he grows up? Yeah, I saw the fucking police and a military unit try to rape a girl and a guy and a fight broke out. And then in the news, we saw them trying to kill the guy. It's like, yeah, I saw them try to kill the good guy. You know, fucking crazy. They do this shit everywhere. Fucking military and the police. Not all of them. Not all of them. Everywhere. They do this shit everywhere. I think it also is going to have a meltdown. I'm doing the dishes and I'm trying to calm down, but I got PTSD because the military be trying to make me kill people to cover up their nasty shit. And I'm sick of it. Fucking FBI stealing shit from American citizens so they can be rich when they retire. I'm sick of it. You know fucking crazy this shit is? Doing this over and over again? Fucking terrorists to cover an air, a terrorist organization just disgrace the American nation? Fucking Airborne Rangers, a terrorist organization. Terrorists. Terrorists. I mean, literally... They took me places. I was fucking bleeding out my ass through my clothes. Fucking kids. This is how fucking situational awareness is in the military. We're going to rape Martin real bad. And when we take him around town bleeding out of his ass, no one's going to question it because we're too stupid to question it in real life. They took me to a fucking barber bleeding out my ass. The barber lady asked me, why are your butthole bleeding on my chair? And I gave her a, le a letter from my hat saying I was a fucking POW. Help. My life is in danger. Everywhere they took me, people asked me, why are you bleeding out your fucking arm there? Why are you asshole bleeding? You're bleeding out your butthole through your pants. And I give them a letter. Help, I'm a POW. Everywhere. Everywhere. But all of this shit, all of this shit, so a terrorist, a, a United States military terrorist organization can continue operating. Right? All of this shit so American soldiers can continue dying 
in the field. Right? All of this shit so we can continue to lose wars. Bunch of fucking treason. Think about it. A bunch of fucking treason. Think about it. And some, some fucking military men in my, in my, my son was asking about fucking serving. Serving. You know, my fucking Wi-Fi is 89 crossings. I didn't even fucking name it. They gave it to me to remember. That's when you stop counting. Stop counting what? Fucking crossings. What crossings? Depends on what they did. You tell us, did they go up or did they go down? We just saw you do it. They're going to fucking gaslight me some more so they can fucking ter I can be terrorized by the military, by the FBI. Sell out our whole country. Fucking terrorist organization. Gig Harbor. Whole fucking terrorist organization. Fucking ran through that place and took out the whole fucking cartel for fucking Gig Harbor. And you know what they did in favor for me? Set up my public fucking execution. This is you fucking help, help the police in Gig Harbor. They try to fucking murder you. Uh uh. This is you helped them. This is real shit. Real shit. They tried to fucking murder me, and I've been on too long. They tried to murder me my, it, with the help of my wife's family and my family. They tried to murder me publicly. Public fucking execution. I gotta get off. Mm.